We almost had a tiebreaker last week, and it uh, looks like there's a possibility we'll have one tonight. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams, and I'm happy to welcome my friends Scott and we, who are filming a documentary on Arthur Chu, and that's why I'm wearing a microphone, and they are training their cameras on me as we speak. So, no pressure or anything. Very, very interesting situation here. Brian, 21,000. Christine, 14,000. Those of you who have been following this blog for a while will recognize this as a two-thirds scenario where Christine has exactly two-thirds Brian's score. Now, back in the days when ties were allowed, this was very straightforward. Brian would just wager 7,000. If he's right, he'd have 28,000, which is double Christine's score. And if he's wrong, he'll have 14,000, which is Christine's score right now. Christine could then pick between zero and everything, depending on how confident she is in the category and what she thinks Brian will do with uh, getting it right or getting it wrong. With ties, things are, or with ties eliminated, I should say, things are a lot more complicated for Brian. He could wager the 7,000, and if he gets it right and Christine doubles up, they'll go to a tiebreaker. But if he tacks on this extra dollar and gets it wrong, 13999 which is $1 less than Christine. And as we saw yesterday, that's exactly what happened. Christine got it wrong and wagered zero. Brian also got it wrong, wagered 7,001. When should you go for 7,000? When should you go for 7,001? Well, if you know that Christine's going to wager zero, you might as well just wager at most 6,999. If you are convinced that Christine is going to wager everything, you might as well tack on the extra dollar. And I think that's what happened here because Christine has been very aggressive in her two games, big daily double wagers, very clutch one on the penultimate wager yesterday to bring her into this situation. And uh, I guess Brian thought she was going to do it again, but maybe she wasn't confident in uh, Academy Awards. And uh, turns out she was right in that guess. I do have to say that Brian looked like he was playing a little like Arthur Chu, jumping around, starting at the middle level of clues, and he didn't go for the Daily Double toward the end, and that allowed Christine to get back into the game. So if there's one lesson to be learned here, take those Daily Doubles out of play if you have a huge lead. I was really hoping for a tiebreaker. I was disappointed we didn't get one, but Wednesday is another game, and we'll see you then on the final wager.